Yo, what's up guys? It's Peak here. I'm back with another Cypher video, and this one is going to be about camera spots on all maps for patch 1.0, or otherwise known as the launch patch, for Ascent, Bind, Split, and Haven. All in one video. I've timestamped them here for you, so if you want to skip right ahead and, uh, you know, get, get right into the Ascent map or Bind or whatever you want, you can do that. If you have any cool cameras you want to share with me, if you want to give me feedback, if you think a camera could have been better, or you're wondering how can I use this camera to its full extent? How come I can't put up this camera? Why can you? Yeah, any question really, put them in a comment and I always check the comments, always, always, always. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. B-Site Market. This one is super nice because you put it above the market. You can see enemies coming through B-Main if they brought it through Defender Spawn or if they come from Market. It's very good for wall banging, just Overall, great site. B site far up. All you do is jump up, place it there, and now we have a great view over B main, market, site, as well as defender spawn. You can activate your traps, you can see if enemies are coming in, you can wall bang, you can aggro, you can play defensive. It's up to you. Mid pizza. Go up on the box, aim to the wall there, and you jump. And place it once it, it's blue. Now you can see through all of mid. You can see the entry to mid there. And uh, yeah, it's overall a really nice camp because it blends in with the roof there. B main. You place it on the white wall there. And you can do this early on. You'll see if enemies are going aggro, if they're going for market. Or if you're placing the camera late in the round, you can see if the door is closed. Mid link. Place it carefully on the grass there. You can see all of mid, you can see A short, pretty good view. And it's unexpected of the camera to be that far down. It, sometimes it's very difficult to spot these. Here's one on A main. You place it next to the light and you can see enemies pushing A main, defending there. Once you retract the camera, it's going to be hidden by the lamp and very hard to see. Here's another one for A main. This one is good for defenders. You place it in the back there, you can place it on the thread, you can place it on the leaves, and you can see enemies pushing a main. For example, if you want to play aggro and just aggress on enemies coming in here. a sight cannon. In order to get on the box there, jump and crouch at the same time, and you'll get up on the box. Then you'll just jump and place the camera on the cannon, you can place it on the top there, or you can place it slightly underneath there. And it's a great view, in my opinion. I love this camera. A site blue. This is an alternative to the Canon camera. You can place it on the blue wall, and you still have this massive vision, but it's an alternative angle, and enemies won't be able to really see it that easily. A site back cannon. You place it there, massive vision again. But this time, you can also see enemies rotating through Defender Spawn. Or, if you're the attacker, you can see defenders rotating through there. And here's what it looks like. I tried to get a good uh, good angle, but you see you see me there. And here's an alternative. a sight Back Cannon 2. This is a great retake camera because you have the under underside of the cannon angle, which allows you to see above the wall. You can see enemies holding here anyone behind boxes, etc. Extremely strong. Defender spawn. Pretty straightforward. If you want to cover defender spawn, enemies rotating from B, you've cleared the A site, attacking, place it here, you see enemies coming from mid, B, anywhere. That's all for sent. Let's go to split. B site far up. You place it up here. Bam. You see enemies in B main, you can hear if they take the orb, you can see their legs, but they can't see the camera. It's a one-way camera, they have to walk out in order to shoot it. B site far up too. This one is great for attackers after planting. This is because you can see all of B site, great cover and very hard to find. B main, you just walk forward, place it there, and you can do this both on attack and defense. I think it's better for attack post plant because you can cover B main. Mid mail. Place it on the vent there. Hasn't changed. All pretty good vision. You can see enemies walking up here. Pretty good for post plant situation on attack side. 
Mid frogs. Careful aim to the toes there, and you place it once it's blue. With this one, you can see if enemies are holding vents, if they're pushing, if they're rotating. Just overall great, and it can be difficult to spot it. Mid trees. This one is great if you're coming from suicide and you want to check vents. You place it there carefully. Once it's placed, you can see enemies' heads behind the box there. So if anyone is not crouching, you can wall bang, you can go for any play. If you look closely here, you can see the top of my hat, and with that, that's when you know if you can wall bang or where an enemy is. A tower, up on the box, put it on the light there, and now you can see all of A tower. You can decide if you want a wall bang. If it's a post plant situation, it's very easy to put up, even if you're defending. You can decide how you use it. Above A screens, number one. Jump and place it on the edge there. Perfect. You can see enemies going into uh, a tower. If they jump out, if they go screens, if they go uh, elbow, if they go main, if they go sight, just a great cam. I use it a lot for A main. Here's another one, number two. You place it behind the bars there. And this one is better for A main, but the thing here is that you get the bars covering the camera. So it can be difficult to spot it. Above A screens number three. You jump, place it there, and now you see A main, A tower, and screens. Very nice. A bit more limited vision, but it's much more difficult to see and it's an alternative camera. Next one, number four. It's when you jump out of A tower, place it on the wall there, and now you see elbow, A main, people jumping out of A tower and going sight. Very good for post plant. A screens. Aim to the blue and then jump up. So you see A main, you see through uh, screens there. Pretty good. A main. You jump up here. And then as you leap forward, you aim to the corner there and just spam click. And that's the camera. These are all the cameras for split for now. Let's head over to bind. Back of A site. Aim to the wall, jump up, and now you see bathroom and A short. Very good for wall banging, alerting your, your teammates. And if you are attack side, you can see enemies walking in. A short. Good for defense. You jump up, place it on the wood bar there. And you can see enemies pushing through a short. You can see if they're hiding, if they're walking in on site. Also good for post plant if you're attacker. A set truck. You walk closely up to the edge there, place it on the truck. And while it's a basic angle, you can see a lot of the site. You can see enemies positioning and just ruin their setup. It's very easy to pull off. If you're quick with it, no one will ever notice. A tower. This one might seem weird, but you place it down here and you see enemies right as they walk in very easily. And it blends in with the color. B short. You place it on the wall there. You can see enemies walking into B window. And I used to use one in the hole or window above you right here, but that one was patched out unfortunately. So if you want to play for B window, this one is still pretty good. Above B window, up on the box there, you just jump, carefully place it there. And you can see enemies' feet as they walk to the window. You can see enemies from long, you can see defender spawn, elbow, sight, everything. B sight, far up. Go on the box here, aim on the wall, and as it turns blue, you jump up, place it there. Perfect. Massive view. And you see enemies walking in on long. You can see enemies jumping out through the B window, and um, yeah, very nice. B long. On the same box, aim on the edge there. You can see enemies coming from B long, and you can aggress or defend versus them. B site, far up, number two. Go out on the box to the edge, then aim on that wall. As it turns blue, jump up, bam. Very nice view, alternative angle, pretty good for defense, but also for post plant. And that's because you can activate your traps very easily. Now let's do some Haven. A tower. Go up to the window, crouch in the window there, aim to the rock, go as far up as possible, and now you have this camera. 
Very strong view, melts in with the rock, and extremely difficult to spot. Next up, above a short. Aim to the corner, walk out and jump. And as you aim to the wall here, when it turns blue, you jump and then place the camera there. Very far at camera. You can see enemies coming from short, a long, you can see if they plant, you can see if they're sitting in window, and you can leave this camera and rotate even. Above B link. This is a great retake camera. You jump up on the box, aim there, and then behind that, that roof on the white wall, you can place the camera and you see behind the wall, you see enemies and how they set up. B site. This is just one of the many spots you can take. But get up on the box, place the camera somewhere here, and you see it takes me a couple of times to jump up and to get it, but once you get it, it's a nice angle because you can wall bang with the box next to C-Link if you hide right next to it. Here. Here. B-Site number two. This one is super nice because if you place it here post-plant, you can see enemies walking in from either doorway and they need to check the angles to uh, B main or mid here. before they check the camera and you can easily kill them. C-Short. All you do is place it there. That's pretty much the best spot I found. And uh, there's not much more to it. You don't really often hold here as Cypher, but if you do, go for this. Seaside C-Long. This one you place it on a base there. You can hear enemies taking the orb. You can hear them walking up. You can hear them coming from C-Short. You can see them coming from C-Short. You can activate your traps very easily. And there's a lot of variation you can add here. For example, if you want to place it further up, you can go up here, jump there, and if you place it here, you can see enemies a bit close to their spawn. You can see them in that cubby. See short, coming in, activating traps. You can place it a bit further down as well if you want to, by the lamp. Just like this. And this one does the same thing, just another angle. Makes it so that enemies can't really see where the camera is. Here. Above the sea short. Aim there, jump up, place it like this. Very defensive camera, good for enemies that rush a sea long, and you have good angles to activate your traps as well. Seaside Fire. This one, gotta be careful because it's not easy to place it. What you do is aim there, turns blue, place it like this, and the camera blends in extremely well with the fire because it blinks red, and you have great vision. That's all for me guys. I will keep updating these cameras as uh, the patches come. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out my Twitch and see what it looks like when I play, it's twitch.tv slash I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again next time. Take care.